going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. I hope all's going well on the other side of the Internet. You know, I really like play on words, but I always wondered, how do they keep themselves from falling in between the letters? Anyways, I want to talk to you, as you might have been aware, if you've watched my previous videos. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I recommend that you subscribe right now. This is literally the best channel on all of YouTube, bar none, hands down, hair up, smiles going on, best channel. Subscribe now. But I want to talk about how I'm growing my hair out, kind of the things I'm dealing with, and maybe give you some tips or give you some encouragement, some hope to get through uh, the lousy stages. So I personally, if you look back at my old videos, I used to have uh, the, the disconnect fade look. So that's the look where it's longer on the top and then short on the sides. And I did a couple of variations of that. I had uh, short on the sides and then I had long in the back like uh, kind of a, the Euro hawk or faux hawk or something like that. And it was probably about three months ago that I decided it's time for me to change it up. I, I think the fade is like a way rad look. I think it's totally gnarly, but I've had it for a while and I haven't had long hair since I was 12 years old. And uh, I cut my hair when I was 12, year old, 12 years old because many people confused me with being a, a girl versus a boy. So at that point, it came off and I haven't grown it back then, since. So this is actually uh, the longest that my hair has been since uh, since I was 12, so nearly 20 years. Uh, I'm nearly at, uh, it touches about my top lip is where it goes. And I'm still applying product to it. I'm still blow drying. My strategy right now is uh, try to go through like the various stages to get to my ultimate stage. And my ultimate goal, my ultimate plan is the, a pretty rad looking top knot. And the beauty with the top knot, uh, which I've seen, is that there's many iterations of top knots. So you can kind of play around the look as we go. And I'll show you what I've been doing now lately uh, within the past few days. So one of the annoyances of growing the hair out when they're starting at different lengths is this part was short and this part was long. So you're never going to have that very purposeful style when you grow it out. I thought kind of long and hard and, and ultimately like a couple weeks ago I was really contemplating simply just keeping this top part nice and long, having a longer disconnect and then this really short. I had that moment of doubt or challenge where I don't know if I should be growing my hair out. Let's just kind of stop halfway. But then I remembered like, no matter what I do in this stage, my hair is going to look like penis. You know, like everyone hits that stage. It, it happens with your beards as well. So you try to grow your hair out no matter what kind of products you use, no matter what kind of shampoo you use, when you wake up, how much time you spend working on it, no matter what kind of haircut you get in the interim, it's just going to look like penis. And the reason behind that is when I wore my hair like a uh, in the fade, my hair was trained to do what it did. So it was very easy to figure out what to do on the, the morning basis and when I put the products in, it was trained to, to have the look that it had. Now when you grow your hair out, you're essentially like every single month, you've got a new hairdo, you've got a new length, you've got a different style, and you have no time to train the hair. So the process of training is completely banished when you grow your hair out. So you just have a penis stage and it just sucks. So there's a couple ways to do it. I'm uh, owning it and my hair just looks bad. That's how it's going to be for the next six months. You know, it's kind of one of the advantages of being a beardsman is that my patience level has gone up slightly. and I can handle the differences and the effects to it. In addition to that, I found that uh, I can put my hair into a pretty high top knot. So it's a little bit higher than I prefer 
or what I think I'm, I'm going for. But I'll just grab one of my wife's bands, put it up high. And kind of the cool thing about this is even though it's like in the interim, you see it, it's like a samurai look. So I'll actually sport this out in public with no shame. I think it's kind of cool look. I personally, when I'm going with the, the man bun and the style I'm going for, I don't like the very clean ponytail. Like I don't like it where it's very chic back. I like it when parts of the hairs are coming out where it's a little wavy, everything's layered, it's a little messy. So I'm pretty cool with, with how I do it without even looking in the mirror. Just put it up here. I'm sure it looks rad enough for me. And then this is going to be a little bit longer. And I've seen some, uh, if you check our Tumblr page uh, or go to urbanbeersman.com and go to the photography section, we've posted a lot of guys in the past that had a similar look to this where it's the ponytail up high and then longer hair down here. And then as this shorter hair grows out, I can think about maybe doing a two ponytail system. I don't know if that will look cool or not. We'll try it out. But the beauty with growing your hair out is you get all these new things to play with, all these new things to try. And don't really worry about the haters. Uh, I guess it's been easy for me because I just moved to a new town. So I don't have people commenting on my new hairstyle and how I'm pulling it up, how it's looking different. But it's very similar to growing your beard out. You know, haters are going to hate. People are going to comment. They notice something different. But a lot of times it's not actually hate. It's just them making an observation. And maybe they don't do it in a very sensitive light. So I want to worry too much about other people's uh, concerns or comments. Just focus on the big picture and, and how you want your hair in the long picture. So hopefully I've helped some other people like feel encouraged to get through these penis stages of hairdo. You'll get through it. I'll get through it. We'll get through it together. Thanks again for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing this video with your friends, family, countrymen, Romans. Cheers. And beard on.